सब है अपने अपने इस शहर में गुजरे यादों के वेलकम टू अनदर ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ साहा प्रेजेंस सलाम नमस्ते सिंगापुर माय नेम इज विनय भारद्वाज the first segment of the show where we get to meet the indian origin people who have made a change to singapore the first segment today we are going to be talking about academics about education i'll be talking to mr jain who's the founder of sp jain school of global management who's been a pioneer and a path breaker to bring in a tri city model into the education field let's talk to him welcome to salam namaste singapore mr jain it's wonderful right. having you on the show thank you it's my pleasure vinay First question I wanted to ask you or take this conversation is that SP Jain is known for its tri city model. What was the idea behind having this tri city model and it's one of the first of its kind that's come in here in the academic field. So tell yeah. us more about that. Well, you know people do an MBA yeah to get a job. Yeah. And jobs these days are global. Yeah. How can business schools be local? So if jobs are global These schools students also need to be yeah, global. Yeah, students need to be global. Yeah. And you cannot learn global sitting in a classroom. Yeah. And with that, I'm sure it comes with a lot of challenges. So what is it what are the challenges that you face in uh, terms of running a tri city model business? You're asking school? for all my trade secrets, <laughs> uh, uh you know, it's been a tough ride to set up in different countries. Um each country is so different when it comes to setting it up. currently we are in singapore mm. and singapore was let's say the easiest place for us to start as a country it's very because easy. the government invited us to singapore yeah and as by way of that invitation they gave us a lot of ease of operation yeah. red carpet treatment yeah and therefore it was very easy coming to students students is a very important part of your day to day life now i'm yes. sure what kind of students do you kind of nurture in sp jain and what are your interactions with them do you go and talk to students on what level do you interact with them you know, i set up the school for the students and therefore i obviously love interacting with them very closely i take a great amount of interest in the curriculum in how they learn the out of class activities and so on i um, see that you're very very passionate yeah, academic but we try and get students who are you know right for the school mm, so mm. let me put it in another way students self select to join the school what does that mean it means that every one of our students had the option of going to a single campus conventional single campus school ah. right and they chose not to they and chose so to they try chose it. not to okay. right they chose that i want to study in three countries to get my degree yeah now yeah. what does it tell you about the student these students are outgoing yeah. these students are risk takers they're extroverts yeah. they want to be global citizens yeah any experiences of a uh, couple of students one student you have in mind that you want to share with us well last year or uh, i think it was 2 years ago we had a student from syria he actually lived in a refugee camp and we had another student from the us now you know the us and syria aren't the best of friends um so we made the syrian an american uh-huh and we made the american uh, syrian wow. and we said negotiate a peace deal <laughs> you know how exciting is that yeah. right how exciting is that and it's an insta world people want everything instantly the millennials that you call instagram insta career insta job everything needs to be instant for them how do you cope up with them and what kind of advice do you give them well i say come back in 5 years because then we we'll give you a degree the first day you join right instant degree we put a chip in your head it's all program and you don't need to do much yeah but that's 5 years away yeah. uh as of today you know school the kids have to unfortunately go through the education 
in the old fashioned way where you actually have to take the trouble to learn yeah yeah but what we do which i think is a little different than what many schools do and that's what we really proud of we make learning fun mm. because we make learning fun students uh, don't feel stressed out about the learning process all my guests i have this quick five questions to understand my guests better five questions your favorite travel destination oh my god uh, it's got to be europe europe yeah your favorite food indian roti uh, indian food <laughs> i indian go with food. indian food yes <laughs> one advice from someone that you've gotten that completely changed your life well i think it's from my grandfather okay and uh, what he said was your friends are your friends but it's your enemies that you have to make your friends Absolutely. so that you have no enemies left and Absolutely. he actually practiced that and i think that's the one thing that i learned stuck in your mind yeah, stuck yeah. in my mind yeah absolutely uh one favorite hangout in singapore i just like to go to a fine dining restaurant and uh, there are lots of such beautiful restaurants in singapore yeah very and nice it's, ones uh, singapore is known for the food singapore is known for food <laughs> and any regrets in life no 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 regrets actually just about we conclude the conversation singapore as you know unpredictable <laughs> beautiful rains outside the campus <laughs> uh what next for spj well i think it's uh, you know technology has changed all our lives yeah and technology is certainly going to change education yeah. and what we're doing is we're focusing on the new technologies that are going to change education yeah. so that we are on the cutting edge we're not like a old fashioned school that's waiting for everyone else to make the change and then we follow suit we want to be right up there yeah. first and i think that's what's next for spj how do we reimagine education to make it the most powerful uh, system of education that our students can enjoy and i'm very sure the change just around the corner and spj mm -hmm. will be there at the mm -hmm. forefront of the line to make the change mm -hmm. happen Wonderful you. having you on Salam Namaste Singapore. Thank you. I Vinay. take a selfie with my guests before I let them go. All right. So we'll do that on in the conference. Sure. In the beautiful rains outside. Thank you, Vinay. Thank you. That's it in this segment. Singapore rains beautiful outside. We're going to take a short commercial break. Come back soon. You're watching Starhub Presents Salam Namaste Singapore.